Stamper. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make the little witches with the dress here. I get this uh, idea on uh, Stamping Connection. It's a place that only Stamping Up demonstrator can go. And her name was Mary Glitch, Glitch, Glitch. I'm not sure her last name. I know her first name was Mary. So um, it was a little bit different. Her card, and you know me, I don't do the same thing twice. So let's get started. And today I'm going to be using not quite those colors. I decide to go with um, olive, eggplant, and pumpkin pie. And this one here, it's for my color coach. That was the eggplant one combination. Give me this. So if you wonder what my color coach class is, you can go on my uh, blog at frenchystamps.com and I offer it by mail too if you're not local. So now I got my piece of paper and I go uh, one and a half wide by three. We're going to trim the by three there, but I get started with one and a half by three with my strip. I'm using the, um, this one, it's the pinking heart and then the scallop edge, the scallop uh, edge border and then the eyelet. That's the three different dress that we're going to be making. And then I'm using the large uh, oval. Really, it's the jumbo oval. So let's get started. First, we're going to put this as much as we can in the center of our punch. And just one time. I mean, because it's uh, so little. And then I'm going to do this one. Oh, I got, here we go, piece of dimensional there going to put that about the center here and then my scallop one Whew, that's pretty good okay I'm going to get this mess out then what I do I take my big um, jumbo oval there and I just put this up, oh, about a quarter inch I would say that I take off can you see? And I do that on both sides. So all the dress, that's what I do with them. And that gives, you know, a little curved shape for the woman there. So that's how I shape it. This, I don't know if that's the way she did it. That's the way I'm doing it. I mean, I just saw the card and I figure it out. Okay, I like it. Let's see what I can do with it. So, here we go. Even if it's not all equal, don't worry about that. It's going to be okay. Because now we're going to trim this. Take your paper cutter, and we're going to trim this at one, in a, one inch. So I put my little ruffle, whatever, at one, and cut this off. So you want to cut all your dress at one inch. And you can, really, we could make two with three. And the reason why I go three, two and a half, three would work. Two and a half would work too. So then you get a better chance to cut them and pass it through your, um, I bet you could go two and a half easy to um, put it in your punch. Now, this is my main card. This is a regular size, four and a quarter by five and a half when it's folded. Now I took a piece of old olive and we're going to do a fake bow. What is a fake bow? You wrap it around your finger twice. You know, you do a knot twice around your finger. This I call this a fake bow or a ribbon saver. Now that we got this, we're going to uh, take our stamp and we're going to stamp our uh, feet. And this is the clear stamp that I got. So I'm going to take my white, and the reason why I'm using stays on, it's because um, I want a darker black, and it seems our uh, regular black, it's not that deep, and I want a deep black. So I start on the left, and then I come on the right, and then I'm going to go in the center. Okay, now I get the feet done. Now I'm going to take my markers and color it. So I'm going to take my eggplant here 
and I'm just going to go here. So that's what I would do with all my colors. Just see that you add a little bit of color and here's my pumpkin pie. And then those one it's going to be the one that matched the dress. And then here. Okay, now we're ready to attach this, our, uh, not this, but our um, dress. And I tried with dimensional, and I didn't like it with dimensional, and I'm going to be honest. It's because when I put the ribbon, then this would go on top, and I didn't like it with the dimensional in the back. And here's my little one with the hearts. And then... Here is the eyelet border one. And really, I don't like this one. I was not too much in the center. I'm going to snip this maybe a little bit more. I know I'm going to rip this one. I don't like it because it's too much off there. Okay, now I take my ribbon, my fake ribbon here, and we're going to put our snail in the back of this. Yes, I love my snail. Can you see how much I'm using there? Then I put this over here. Cover your dresses. I just flipped this in the bag there. <laughs> While it disappeared, I just pulled that against me too. And then we're going to glue our pumpkin pie. And this is um, five and a quarter by four. No, it's not five and a quarter. It's five and um, I think I went a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's a quarter one, two, three eight. Five and three eight by one and uh, four and one eight. Five and three eight by four and one eight. And this is five and a quarter by four. Voila. Now, my bow there, you wonder what am I doing with this? I just take my scissors and snip this in two, and voila, now you get your fake bow. Now, the only thing I have to do is take my uh, hat, and then um, I'm going to stamp it like in the whole olive. I'm going to take my old olive, stamp my hat. Whoops. going to stamp my ad right here. Then I have to wash it all the time in between because I'm going to switch colors. So I'm done with this. I'm going to go eggplant and pumpkin pie. So eggplant. Do you wonder why I always stamp? The first one, every time I stamp, the first time I ink my stamp, I just, um, the first one I do it on a scrap paper, and then after that I do it on my project. And the reason why I do that, it's so I get a better clear image. The first one, it seems you never get enough ink on it. Oh, this one I didn't do it, and it looked very good. That is it. And then I could put my little greeting. I don't like, uh, my boy, it's a little bit too long here. So I'm going to snip this off. Voila, that is it. So now you get the way to do your dresses. So, hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.